In this course, we're going to build up an app that creates what I would call a media switchboard. It will allow us to explore the different features. It will allow us to take pictures and display photos in a gallery. It will allow us to share those photos through social media. It will allow us to record and play audio and record and play video. We'll start with the image gallery. The UI Image Picker controller presents an image gallery, but it's under the OS's control and it's limited in the abilities that it provides. But what if we want to customize the look of our gallery or customize the features or actions that it presents to the user? In this lesson, we're going to create our own custom photo gallery. Our media switchboard presents buttons for each one of the features that I've described. Our first feature in the first scene in our storyboard is going to be the image gallery. And the image gallery consists of a view that has a collection view, and then we've created a gallery cell. And within that gallery cell, we have an image view. Now the gallery cell is a custom control. We'll take a look at that in just a little bit. So what will happen is that we will read the library of photos that the user has on their device, and we'll present them in thumbnails in this gallery. Let's start by taking a look at that gallery cell. You'll note that we've sized it to be 100 by 100 in width and height. We also have to do that in the collection view to make that match for the cell size. Our gallery cell descends from UI collection view cell. It contains a property for an AL asset object. And the AL asset is what we get out of the user's device library. In the implementation, we have a property for a UI image view. And then we also have a method to set that asset. And when the asset is set, we'll populate the image view's image to that asset's image. Our view controller is an instance of a gallery view controller, which is a custom control that we've created. And in the implementation of that gallery view controller, we're going to take a look at the assets that are in our library, and then we'll set up our cells. So we need to import the assets library header, and we also need to link to that library as well. To do that, we go into build phases, and under link binary with libraries, we add the assets library framework. We have properties for our UI collection view, an array of assets, and the assets library. The assets library is valid for the scope of the method that it is contained by. So that's why we don't have it simply in view did load, because after view did load completed, the library would be empty. So our view did load, we create the assets array, and we just create an initial copy of that. And that's what we're going to load our assets into as we enumerate through the assets library. The assets library, we simply allocate from AL assets library. Then we enumerate through that, and we're going to look for the type AL assets group saved photos. So that will go through the photos that are saved on the device. For each one of those, we're simply going to add the object to our initial assets. Once we're through, we'll set our assets property equal to that initial asset array. And then we'll tell our collection view to reload data. In our collection view implementation, the number of items that we're going to have in a section is equal to the count of the assets. As we loop through and look for each cell in the cell for item at index path method call, we get a gallery cell object from our collection view. Then from our assets array, we get the asset that corresponds with that cell. And we set the cell's asset equal to that asset. And you remember, this is a gallery cell object, so setting that will actually set the image view's image. We just set the background color to red for no particular reason unless the photo just doesn't fill up the image view. And then we return the cell. We provide a little bit of spacing in between cells and a little bit of spacing in between sections. And that's all to our custom gallery. Let's take a look at what that looks like. And when I tap on the photo gallery button, I get the gallery. And you can see that it's spaced relatively well. And it's not the same gallery that's presented by the OS. And of course, I can go back to the media switchboard in my storyboard. Now, I haven't implemented it here, but you can see how you might expand the view of the image if the user tapped on it to a full screen. And I imagine you could see how fairly easy it would be just by looking at the cell's asset 
and getting its image from an image view. So that should give you an idea as to how to create a custom gallery.